Hi, my name is Dr. Tara Desjardins, Curator of South Asia at the Museum of Islamic Art in Doha. Today, I'm excited to present a fine specimen of carved jade from 17th century Mughal India. This exceptionally well-crafted primer was probably made in the Imperial Mughal workshops in the second half of the 17th century. Fashioned from a single piece of gray-green nephrite jade, this flask is an extraordinary artistic and technical achievement. Carved in a hemispherical shape with a short integral spout and large flattened base, the entire center was masterfully hollowed out through a single small round opening. After drilling and abrading to form the flask's shape, the delicate floral patterning was then carved in low relief with rounded petals, subtle veins, and a fine crosshatch pattern in the central spray all detailed. On the base are two integrally curved, flattened loops, carved in low relief, through which straps could be inserted. However, this powder flask, if used, would have certainly cracked if knocked too vigorously against the match lock of the gun it served to load. This object was therefore more splendid than practical, made to showcase the patience and skill of its craftsmen. Mughals inherited an appreciation for carved jades from their forefathers, the Timurids, who referred to jade as Hajar al Ghalba, Stone of Victory. With the finest jade stone coming from the region of Khotan in Turkestan, the Mughals were skilled carvers following in a long tradition of stone carving. The shape of the primer probably derives from a Chinese prototype, reminiscent in form to that of a turtle, and would have originally had a gold stopper, now lost.